Hello guys, my name is Nihal. Today we're going to be talking about asteroids and meteors. Some people think they're the same, but they're not. not. Asteroids are huge, large chunks of rock found in space that orbit the sun and float through space when they bump together. It's called a meteorite. When meteor meteors enter the atmosphere, it's called meteors. If it if the meteor survives the Earth's atmosphere, it's called meteor. I meteorite, and it makes a crater. So that was basically just an introduction. But today we're gonna be taking all of that information and telling you. So asteroids are actually found in space. In, uh, the most famous belief that was an asteroid that hit the Earth millions of years ago that wiped out the dinosaurs. That's a huge asteroid. About, it's so big. I don't mean that, actually. So, if an um, me meteor enters the Earth's atmosphere, it literally burns up like a hot ball of, of something. But it burns up so hot that it just wipes out because of the surface. It's When it goes down, it's so hot. You need something to survive that fall. It's about when an asteroid or a meteor, just imagine this is the Earth atmosphere, and this is the meteorite, meteor actually. It bangs up, creating so much friction. And it literally makes something called friction. It heats up so hot, it's about a volcano. When it bumps down, it's called a meteorite. It's really hard to find meteorite uh, because uh, the Earth's atmosphere literally burns up the meteorite, meteor. So they're, they're also called meteor shooting stars, but they're actually meteors. Yeah, they're actually meteors. Shooting stars are actually meteors. The shooting. Scientifically, that's impossible. So, I will take this and do this. So, meet asteroids are actually found in space. Where exactly? Um, no one knows. They can be found in the Kuiper Belt. No, not the Kuiper Belt. But they can be found in the asteroid belt around Mars and Jupiter. And this this might be something. So I'm telling you this. Maybe it might be a comet that hit the Earth. Let's think of it. Where do you find a comet? Subject. So if we you can only you can find comets in the Kuiper Belt uh, or the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is basically with filled with comets, and the Kuiper Belt too. The Kuiper Belt, the Kuiper Belt is uh, actually near Neptune. Far, far away from our sun, thirty times far away from the sun. It's it's a gas giant, like Jupiter. Yeah, it's a gas giant. Gas giants have no surface in them, so don't even think that you're good. There's a surface on Neptune. This the always sideways planet. Um. It's called Uranus. 
Your mouse is always sideways. It even has his ring like Saturn. Another gas giant. So, there might be gas giants, but gas giants have no surface in them. No surface. And afterwards, yeah, there are huge, large chunks of rock. Like contained with iron, rock, and some parts. I'll tell you this amazing story. There was this planet. You just go. If it was an asteroid, I think it was named Flora or something. It hit the Earth, and now we see today is the Moon. Um, could you wait for one second? I'll just do something. I'm sorry about that. So, if you're thinking of planets, let me tell you something. Planets can be found everywhere. What? Uh, uh, you, you thought the only planets were here. You are wrong. So, um, if you like, if you go into Pluto, imagine that. It's actually not a gas giant. It's a dwarf planet. What do you mean by a dwarf planet? Dwarf planets are found in the Kuiper Belt. It even has a surface. It's filled with rock. It's two times smaller than the Earth, by the way. And I mean the moon. It's smaller than the moon. The planet we've called today is the moon. The moon was actually from an eruption, not like a volcanic eruption. It, it was actually an asteroid you were zooming through. The angle was so tiny, there were not even uh, dinosaurs at that time. The angle is the most important, actually. So, yeah. The angles are more important than uh, if it crashes. If the angle is perfect, it will hit. It all matters about the angle. It all matters about the angle. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The asteroids actually float through space. They actually orbit around the sun. Without our sun, our planet won't be in orbit. So we just, just zoom away into the infinite space. And next in five billion years, longer than I can live, um, it will be, there will be the Admastera galaxy and the Milky Way galaxy is gonna combine. Yeah, it's gonna combine. When it combines, it will be, it will get a supernova after the two uh, universes will swirl around, combining into each other. And by the way, about in four billion years later, uh, this, the sun will swell up 
making a red giant. I'm gonna destroy everything in this spot. If we only have one thing, if we have a strong enough barrier to protect us. And if it gives us, if it stores all the sunlight in the entire universe. To give our planet heat, light, water, and everything else. It even has to, like, so, it has to be strong enough to hold infinite space. And it has to be big enough, too. It should have air. Why am I even talking about that? We're talking about asteroids. Okay. Do you think a volcano or an asteroid hit dinosaurs and kill them? I, I think it would be an asteroid. Yeah, it has to be an asteroid. It even left a crater on Mexico or Mexico. I'm like, a little near to the ocean. It was like, it was so big if you see it on with your own eyes. So, the cool thing about asteroids are they're contained with metal, rare metal. Like, titanium? Yeah, something like those metals that found in asteroids. And only asteroids. These, that is a really, the, ty the, the metal that's found in asteroids are rare on Earth. And common on asteroids. So, we're gonna wrap up this video with one joke. What ta what does an asteroid what what is an asteroid's favorite music? Rock music. Get it? Rock. It's uh, asteroids are made out of rock. Ha <laughs> Funny bye. Have a grateful time. See you next Sunday.